Alright, so uh, this video I'll show you how to use the multiple sub tool button on our Gizmo 3D. So this is the last Gizmo operator, the number seven operator of our Gizmo 3D button. And then uh, use the toggle on and off effect. Okay, so what this does is that default setting you will only affect one tool. So for example, if we are moving this shape over here, you will only move one shape, and then maybe you translate it this direction. But by toggling it on. You will toggle it on all sub tools, so all sub tools will be moved direct together. All together, everything will move together. So yeah, so toggle off, toggle on like this. Okay, so uh, the only thing you have to take note of is uh, if you mask a particular selection, it will not be all transformed together. All right, so let me show you. So I have so many parts over here. You can imagine if I were to move everything one by one, one. Two, you know, one. Sorry, two. This will be really painful for me if I were to do that one by one, and then the movement, the distance will be all different. So, what can I do? There's a better way to do that. Toggle this button on all sub tools. So now all sub tools will be moved together. Ta-da! Everything will be moved together, everything rotated together, everything scaled together. I want to scale everything posed together if I want to do so. Okay, so it's a more better way if you want to just deal with the whole mesh. It's like grouping up your whole mesh and moving it together. And yep, so uh, let me undo this a bit. If you want to uh, if you want to protect a certain area, so let's say the head right now, I want to not move the head. The head is a separate identity. So I only move the body. The head is already masked. So everything is moved. I didn't change anything over here. It's still on all tools. And then the only reason this is not moving is because it's being masked. All right. So I think uh, that's pretty clear. And uh, that's all I have for this video. Okay, just keep in mind, uh, you may forgot about this, but this option is always there for you. You will be able to move all the sub tools, everything together by clicking this on, on all selected sub tools. Alright, so that's all I have. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.